Hey everyone, good to see you all again. Thank you very much. It's Mr. Zayani here and today I'm making a batura, which is like a puri but uh, not a puri if that makes any sense and today I'm following uh, Uncle Sood's recipe. So this is Uncle Sood's own handwritten recipe and he's explained to me what to do, how to do it and many of you will think listen to the recipe here and hang on a minute it's not how we normally make it and it is actually I've not seen anyone make it like you see that so I thought well I've got to go and do it so here we go so I have about 250 grams of self-raising flour some yogurt and here I have kasturi methi hing which is astafoetida and that's black salt baking powder bicarbonate soda and whole jeera and of course you'll need a little bit of oil as well. So I'm just going to pour all those ingredients into the flour and mix it dry before I put the yogurt in. Let's get on with it. So in goes all our ingredients. Salt, the baking powder, the hing, the bicarbonate soda, the what was that? Jira and the methi. In it goes and give it a nice mix. So it's all now mixed nicely. I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the yogurt. Now I'm going to do that a little bit at a time. A little bit in the first. And then mix it. And then a little bit more. And then a little bit more. So you put your yogurt in there, you mixed it, you still, um, your dough is not soft enough, not to worry, you can always go ahead, add a little bit of water and knead the dough. Now we go ahead, add a couple of spoons of oil and give it a nice mix. So now our dough is ready, get a damp cloth and cover it and let it rest for about two hours. There will be oil in your hand and get some dough, make it into ball shape in your hand, oil again, put it into a nice surface and just do this with your fingers. Now, take a little bit of dough in your hand, put it into the oil to see if it's hot enough. Yep, the oil is nice and hot. Turn it down a little bit. You can, if you're experienced enough, you can just go like this, like a pizza or something in your hand, or you can roll it with a rolling pin and then it goes into the oil. So here we have my version of Bature with help of Uncle Sud and the Chole Masala. Depends on which video you're watching. If you're watching the Chole Masala video, um, then you know you can find how I made the Bature. And if you're watching the Bature video, you can find out how I made my Chole Masala. But anyway, I can't wait to try it. Let's see how it all goes. Look at that. Oh, nice and fluffy Bature. Fantastic. And Time to dig in. Here we go. Oh wow. 
really, really nice, really fluffy Batura. Thank you very much for watching. And you know, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Literally, as I was cooking this, I had Chef, Happy Chef 101 and Shanaz Pravin. Thank you very much for your subscription. And guys, you out there, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up as well. And I will look forward to seeing you soon on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And seriously, this Batura is not your average Batura. It's done slightly differently and it tastes absolutely superb.